Hi guys, Gemma here again from Cheeky Chops and I'm going to do my number three uh, video about um, or for uh, another rainbow design. And instead of the last one that we did which was simple uh, number two, simple uh, rainbow design with um, starbursts and dots, we're still going to add some starbursts and dots in our design but I'm actually going to use uh, the Low Cornell um, Petal, no, 7930 Flora brush so as you can see it looks um, it's got like a petal tip on it and it's got a little green thing there near the ferrule um, and obviously it's going to read backwards on the camera but low Cornell um, and it's a number two I get onto it guys right so I'm going to take my flat brush and my um, Archie cake I think it's just called there you go um, true rainbow don't know if you guys can see that True Rainbow Arty Brush Cake, made in the USA, 25, 28 grams, sorry. So I'm just wetting my Prisma flat brush and I'm gliding it on the side of my tray to get the excess water off. Oops. And then I'm going to, again, like the first tutorial, slide backwards and forwards. Can you guys see that? Sorry, my nose is terrible. I sound like a bush pig. Slide backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. The same thing again, I'm going to do the C shape because it's nice and flattering. If you didn't watch the first video, um, all my eye designs, whether it's flowers or swirls or um, tiger stripes or anything you can think of, what you'd like to come up with an idea, I always keep the C shape going and you can probably see from the last where I've wiped my makeup off. I always keep the C shape going. It's nice and flattering. It doesn't hang down here and look ugly and messy. Um, doesn't make a person's face look fat. It's simple, it's quite elegant. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to do blue on the top, red down the bottom. And again, start on a point like that. And press ever so slightly around like this. And then I twist. Just like that. So it's a nice C shape. So you can see these colours from the last rainbow. They're quite heavy. Um, they're kind of dark. So depending on what you're wearing, um, like this kind of matches in with my shirt I'm wearing anyway. So just depending on what you're wearing. Um, but it looks like a real rainbow. It's nice and bright for boys. This would probably be good. And keep your nice pretty um, pink or your neons for the girls. Because girls, this is a pretty popular design I've found. Um, if we're at a show or something like that, I would probably paint six seven scales on boys but I would do like 20 rainbows um, just to compare so that's that done so this would be a cool idea that I've only just thought of that I might start doing myself if you know you get little boys sometimes come up and say I want a rainbow or I want a butterfly it's like are you sure like you don't want a spider or scorpion or you know you get some of those mothers sometimes that oh could you no I don't like spiders I don't like snakes and it's like seriously it's he's a boy like what, what else can I paint on him so yeah rainbow bit boyish more I go with that. Okay, so we're going to do the flowers. So I've got my number two Low Cornell Flora 7930 brush. So I'm just wafting that around in my water. I'm going to grab my white. The brush is quite wet because I want it sort of to make up a, a super consistency like from the last video. You probably saw I like to make when I do my dots. So same thing. Load the brush nice and well. Now I like to, I usually, I'll grab a baby wipe to show you, but I actually do take a little towel with me or an old tea towel or baby wipes are fine, or use your skin, and I just take a tiny bit off the tip, so wipe, 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 or if I was just using my skin, I would just draw a sort of squiggly pattern and just get some of that excess paint off the tip. Now, squirty bottle, and I'm going to squirt my red, <coughs> put my brush down. I'm going to squirt my red cake, not where I've got my black obviously, just so it's a little bit runnier because now that I've wiped the paint off the tip of my brush, brush it's going to be hard to pick up some paint. So I'm going to try and make it so you can see and I'm just going to dip that in backwards and forwards, slide it around a bit, you'll notice the paint goes a bit pink, just so I've got some, if you can see that, just so I've got some paint on the tip of my brush. Right, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
So it's not a great light, it doesn't go the whole way up. And the more paint you put on, the more different colours you're going to get. Um, sometimes I've found when I do petals, I even have a stripe through the middle of the petal because I put a bit much paint on, but it looks kind of cool. So just go with what you can do and yeah. So, right, with the petal brush, you pretty much just push down. You can drag and push for bigger effect of flowers or more um, tapered, thinner look in the middle of your flower so you can put your circle or... I just smash mine on really quickly. Um, after all, we're trying to do simple designs, quick designs, but have a play around with your arm guys first. Um, that's one thing, um, another tip of mine. Before I put the brush down on someone's face, I always just do a test on my hand because sometimes I've loaded my brush a bit too much and it's really gloopy and I put it on the kid's face or anybody's face and it just doesn't look neat and delicate and pretty like a flower does. It looks gloopy and, a bit, and it doesn't take much of kids wipe it. It's going to smear paint everywhere. So always have a test with your one strokes or anything like that if you're, you know, a bit worried. So I like to put some flowers here on the tip, some flowers here on the tip, and again in threes, some flowers around the eye somewhere like there. So let's start here at the tip. And again, guys, sorry, I'm using the computer. So push and there you have your petal shape and I just go round in a circle it's usually about five petals there that doesn't look too bad so they're kind of nice there um if you don't have a petal brush don't stress guys just use any type of round brush. Do the same thing, load it with white or load it with any colour you like and double dip it with a colour that complements it. Um, so you don't get a horrible brownie colour, unless you want brown. So um, you're going to get a more of a rounded sort of daisy petal with rounded brushes. Um, with these petal ones, you can sort of see it's more like of a squarey, besides that one, um, type of feel. And if you want to, there's nothing stopping you from pushing it on the side and getting the rounded effect instead of flat so we'll see it's a little bit different you can have round or flat so you can do whatever you like so I hope I've got enough paint on here now to do a flower down the bottom here and if see I don't like the look of that flower so I'm going to add one more petrol in there just because we can and all flowers are different they don't have to be perfect so my paint's really running out, but it all looks pretty bodgy on this computer anyway. So sometimes I might add three petals here, which I'm going to do just to show you because I think it looks neat or funky. Or you could add, I'm going to do four. So it looks like a flower's coming out the side of my face. Um, I might have enough just to do a smaller flower. It's going to run out. So that's going to run out so you can't quite see it. So I'm going to rinse my whole brush off totally again. So it's kind of clean. And swatter around and load my brush again, reload it with the white. So if you want to go over your flowers because the white's um, soaking in with the other colours, just wash your brush off and do it again. Most of the time when I do this design, I load my brush twice or sometimes even three times, depending on how many colours I want to put in there. So wipe a bit of the excess off. It's not a lot, just a little bit. Spraying my red. Just one spray. Oh, it's going to drip out. And dipping, you guys can see. Dipping that in there. There we go. Give a tester. So that one there, you can almost see that first one I blodged on, how it's just a bit more, oops, how the colours are a little bit more sort of wetty and that one sort of looks kind of nice. So um, I'm glad I didn't dob that straight onto my face. So let's redo this little flower. And see, because the paint's just gone a bit different, I've got a different sort of pattern flower. There's more red going through the centre where there's this is more white on the outside. So just depending on how you load it and what you'd like to do and um, you end up with totally different flowers. So let's chuck 
another flower here and sometimes let's wipe this off sometimes on the little girls just to even up their face I'll do three little petals let's do four because we can maybe five I like to do a little petal design on the other side of the eye so it all ties it in all kind of nicely. Now at this point, I might do another little flower here because we've got another little flower at the top. So I'm going to rinse my brush off. And what colours have I got available here? I'm actually going to... Because the flowers look nice, but we're kind of missing something. So to add that wow factor, I'm going to take my arty cake again, and I'm actually just going to load my brush in here, straight up and down like a one stroke, in the green and the yellow. And accidentally picked up some blue. But that's okay. And usually I would advise not to um, do this with your one strokes and stuff, because if you find you use it a lot and get lazy um, you're going to find one colour's worn down a lot more than all the other colours so try to double dip properly just to be cool we're going to add in some leaves Just pushing the brush down like the petals, the same effect, just for something a little bit different. Okay. Okay, so it's looking kind of weird. There's leaves hanging around, there's flowers hanging around. We've got a bit of a space over here that's nothing in. And you know what I did forget? My own tip was to put the glitter on. Poof, poof, poof. See the sparkle? Was to put the glitter on while the paint was wet. You guys are probably sitting there watching the video going, oh, you haven't done the glitter yet. So my bad. So because we've got some spaces hanging around, I'm going to get my number four low Cornell round. And I'm mixing my paint up, getting that soupy consistency. Rolling my brush and then dipping it back into the paint. So I've got that nice bauble round tip instead of a pointy tip. And let's just pretty much whack a heap of dots wherever you want to mm -hmm. dot 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 Okay, let's add a couple down there. And some there. Okay, so you can see that took me for quite a, a trip. The paint lasted quite a while. Um, because I can't see my face properly, it's probably not as thick as I'd like it. But on the computer, it seemed to work out quite well. So I've just added a heap of dots anywhere. So as you can imagine, every design you're going to do is going to be different because you can never do the same one twice. Well, I can't anyway. So now I'm going to grab my number three Locronel 795 round brush. In my paint, 
and I shouldn't have wet my brush so much because I already still had the super consistency in here so now I'm picking a different location around my paint so it's not so wet. I'm twisting my brush off so I then I get a nice point on my brush and we'll add some starburst. So it looks really nice with the big one and the little one next to it. If you guys didn't see in the first one how to do your starburst, I want you to push, not a lot, just a little bit, and flick, push, flick, push, flick, push, flick. And then if you wanted to make a bigger starburst, do little flicks in the center like that and you've got a bigger type of starburst flower. Um, where else can we fit one? Let's do one right here on the other side of the face and let's do two. Let's do a little one next to it. So it almost looks like you're shining. Does that look kind of cool? Right. Usually doing this design two minutes, glitter, gems, flowers, all that type of stuff. Oops, wet my phone. Okay, so I'm going to grab my body glue glitter. I'll open up my little container of gems first. And I only want to put this, well, I like to put it on the flowers. So I usually pick three. If I go over three, it would be five. I try not to have an even number. And I do have some that are colored too, so that always looks nice. Um, so the end of the glue, it's like a little lipstick activator and I find it perfect for doing a round dot on here so that would be four five six seven seven gems you guys don't have to do this many. Usually, like I said, I only do either one on each side, two and one in the middle, so three. And I can't see, oops, what I'm doing. Just pull that down in the centre. So bear with me, guys. I didn't, the mirrors are behind me. So I'm just roughly trying to feel where I put the glue. And we did one up here, didn't we? So these, yeah, I think I said at the start, these are the, I think they're about four mil wide gemstones, rhinestones, whatever you call them. But when you look on the internet, just look up flat back rhinestones or gemstones. So you got a flat back. So there you have it. Look how pretty that looks with all the gemstones. And you walk past people and you have the real wow factor. Just before you... I go I will do the the lips and because we got nice dark colors in the rainbow I'm picking the red so I've just dipped my um, earbud in the in the water and earbuds are awesome two strokes and that's good enough lips there's our beautiful red lips and our awesome rainbow design which I will take a photo afterwards to show you with a few leaves in there with the same petal brush. Cool flowers. Okay, guys, all the stuff will be listed in the comments below of all the products that I used if you miss them. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.